So if you have to turn on power for the first time to a new board, um, it can be a bit hair raising and you know the worst feeling is when you have your current limited supply and it seems to be drying too much. Um, so I have a supply here set for 100 milliamps and when I turn it on it hits the it hits the rail. Now this board even without doing anything because the PLL is going to come up in the bottom here um, the SAM 3 takes quite a bit of power it could be drying more than that level. Um, so I don't know if that's right or not so in this case you know I increase the current limit a bit and it's still still is drying more so what do you do to, to find that out well even at 100 milliamps um, that's you know 0.1 watts now if a part is dissipating that what I can do is use my thermal camera here so it's just a seek thermal camera to see if there's any parts getting you know a little suspiciously hot so let's see if we can position this And oops, my battery is just down on my phone. You don't really see anything. Um, you don't get too much detail. Now what's interesting is that you can use, you don't really need it, but there's a, you can make a little macro lens adapter for this thing. And this gives you a little more, uh, you can zoom in a little more on parts. Let me just pop it in. And um, you can actually see, depending on if it's been on for long enough, the dye in the the SAM 3 micro uh, will start to heat up but but nothing looks out you know excessively hot there really so what is it oh, so you might be able to start to see bit of a square in the middle of that SAM for you but if we flip the board over do the same little scan we should see right away there's one there's something getting warmer um, and you can zoom in a little and that is the issue right there so you can see that's heating way up so that's dissipating most of the power and what this is, is this is actually turned out to be um, a protection diode, so switching back to the camera, uh, it's a little SOT23 package diode, and when I had fired it in real quick, uh, I actually put it backwards so it's always conducting, rather than doing the, so it's a SOT23, uh, you know, the anode, anode cathode, uh, cathode anode, um, so it's supposed to be so this line at the end get can have uh, protection from going above or below the rails but I put that backwards so it's always on so I'm just gonna take it off for this board and hopefully that's the the only issue we see but um yeah so that's a really quick way how you can use a the seek thermal camera or any thermal camera uh, knowing that a device is going to be dissipating that power somewhere that that power is going in but you know we don't have to put a huge amount of power and we could have done it probably with even a 50 milliamp current limit so you feel a little bit better about not blowing up your brand new board